Welcome to Mexico, the land of ancient treasures and amazing colonial cultural riches. Join me on my adventures to Mexico here on Face to Face with Daisy Anwar. Previously on this program, I interviewed President of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, during his visit to Bali to attend APEC Leaders' Meeting and CEO Summit, where he also witnessed the signing of a number of new bilateral agreements between Mexico and Indonesia. Talking to him, I was impressed to discover how much the two countries have in common in terms of size, economy, as well as natural resources. Not only that, visiting the country recently, I also found many similarities in the character of the people of Mexico, as well as in the richness of their history and arts and culture with Indonesia. This, despite the long journey that I had to take in order to get to Mexico. A long haul on KLM over several continents and crossing many time zones before finally arriving in the capital, Mexico City. Like Indonesia, Mexico is a pluralistic and diverse country with a colonial past and a struggle for independence. Conquered by the Spanish in the early 16th century, with the arrival of the conquistador Hernán Cortés that led to the fall of the Aztec Empire, large portions of mainland Mexico came under Spain. With its resources and wealth of minerals, New Spain became the jewel of the Spanish colonies for the next 300 years, until it finally achieved independence in 1821 after much fighting. And yet, it is the result of the mixing of the different races throughout its turbulent history that makes Mexico the diverse and colorful country that it is today. A country where pluralism is manifested in the very faces of her population. To understand more about the country, I visit Chapultepec Castle in a park in the heart of Mexico City to get a first-hand history lesson from Alfredo Murillo, a historian and my guide at the castle. And now we have here a very important piece of our history. This one. This is the Virgin of Guadalupe. The Virgin of Guadalupe for the Catholic Church is a miracle that happened in the year of 1531 mm -hmm. in the north part of the city of Mexico. Almost all the population in the New Spain had the cult for the Virgin of Guadalupe. It was the most important figure in the religion because she was supposed to be an Indian. You can see her dark skin. Mm -hmm. So she was supposed to be an Indian and this miracle happened in the center of the New Spain. So the Indians uh, started to believe in the, Catholic, um, mm -hmm. in the Catholic religion because they were convinced by the Virgin of Guadalupe. So this is going to be uh, our most important religious symbol in all the time of the colony and till nowadays. This is the real history of the birth of Mexico it's okay. in this room. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about this mural. It, it depicts the birth of Mexico. Yeah. This mural represents in four sections the history of independence. And now we have here the movement of independence. The independence of Mexico, the origin of the independence, was because Spain was invaded by, by France in 1808. Then, in the New Spain, uh, this, he was the leader, he was called Miguel Hidalgo, he's a priest, 
and with other people started to make the movement for independence and he called the people of his uh, church that's in a small town that's called Dolores and he made an army of peasants and these peasants were fighting with their machetes these knives that they use for agriculture no? so this was the first army of independence mm -hmm. Miguel Hidalgo was the field with the Virgin he was of executed. Guadalupe ah, okay Miguel Hidalgo had as a flag the Virgin of Guadalupe that's our most important mm -hmm. religious and not only religious it's a symbol of the identity you know, of mm -hmm. the people of this land mm -hmm. and then we have this other part that represents Jose Maria Morelos who after the execution of Miguel Hidalgo was the leader for independence and he made a very good army and he co um, called to make a congress and this congress made a constitution so they were imagining how was going to be the new nation but he was also killed uh, a prisoner and killed and other people had to continue the independence Miguel Hidalgo was not alone when he started to initiate the Mexican independence. Another prominent initiator, Josefa Ortiz de Dominguez, was the wife of Querétaro's mayor in early 1800. Josefa used a prominent position to gather intelligence for the nascent insurgency and hosted a number of important secret meetings which gave birth to the conspiracy of 1810, but which was discovered, however, before they had time to act. Here, at the palace of the Corregidora, which is now the office of Querétaro's governor, was where Dominguez hosted the meetings. Governor of Querétaro, José Calzada Rovirosa, explains to me the significance of those early conspiracies to the history of Mexico. Yeah, the other side of the, that I find fascinating is you mentioned the independence of Mexico started here. Right so where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Practically uh, right in that this chair. This is a very historic <laughs> place that we are sitting in. So could you tell me how, how it all uh, you know, started? You know, 203 years ago, uh, right in this place that we are uh, talking right now, uh, this, this used to be the house of the Corregidor. Mm -hmm. Miguel Dominguez was the corregidor. Corregidor was like the governor at that time. So uh, the, uh, Mexico was under the rule of Spain. Mm -hmm. But the people in Mexico, they wanted their independence. So there was a couple of people. Uh, amongst those was uh, Miguel Dominguez, the corregidor, which he used mm -hmm. to live here. And he started talking uh, with some of the people that wanted the freedom. But uh, that was uh, punishable if they found you doing that. Yes. Uh, and he was the authority. If the Spanish crown found you doing that, well, you would pay with your yeah. life, of course. So they started to have meetings right in this place. Secret and meetings. Uh, secret meetings. Mm -hmm. Secret meetings. Uh, uh, literarias. Tertulias Literarias was like reading books from mm -hmm. a literacy to know more about uh, whatever subject. And uh, in fact, those meetings were uh, the plot against the Spanish crown. So in this place is where, where they, they agreed that if the plot would, uh, would be known before mm -hmm. time, they would, they would tell Miguel Hidalgo, he was in San Miguel de Allende, mm -hmm. and uh, they would send somebody to tell him to rise. So that's exactly what happened. They found out and uh, they had to um, hurry in their mm -hmm. plans uh, to rise uh, against the Spanish crown. And uh, there was a lady, uh, Jose Fortis de Dominguez, and she told, she told Ignacio Perez to go running to San Miguel. And Miguel Hidalgo was not in San Miguel, he was in Dolores Hidalgo. And that's where all the independence started. In this place, right in that spot is mm -hmm. where uh, Jose Fortis de Dominguez told Ignacio Perez to hurry uh, and tell Miguel Hidalgo. Mm -hmm. we, we just had that uh, fiesta in Mexico, yes, the, the Grito Fiesta. Yes. Every time you go out the balcony, mm -hmm. that's what the people are asking for. 
uh, give us peace, give us opportunities to to have a, uh, a better life. A better life, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, <laughs> and let's hope it continues to have a bright future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.